Hi everyone, my name is James Jones and I can't wait to draw with you and have lots of fun. This is my wife Naomi Jones, who's a writer, and here's me, I'm an illustrator. Normally you can find me designing book covers like this, where I design everything on the outside. But now I'm also illustrating the insides of books. And here's our first one, The Perfect Fit, which me and Naomi did together as a team. It was so much fun creating all the illustrations for the insides, and I want to share some of that fun with you, and let's see what we can draw together. Now I'm going to draw using my iPad and pencil, but you can use whatever you'd like to draw with piece of paper, maybe some pencils, some felt tips, paints, crayons, entirely up to you. I thought we'd like to draw a shape character together. Now this character can be any colour, I'm going to go for red, but you can choose anything you want. So to begin with, draw a straight line at the bottom of your page. Another straight line upwards from the left another straight line upwards from the right and a straight line across the top you've guessed it we're drawing a square once you have your square we'll need to draw some eyes for our character you can draw a circle in the top left and a circle in the top right now you can get coloring now I've sped this one up but you take as long as you need and join me when you've finished then we need to draw some black pupils, so one on the left and one in the right, two little circles. Followed by a very nice smile. Now we need to draw an arm, so we're going to draw a curved line with a little oval on the top on the left hand side like this and now we're going to draw another square on top of the square we've already drawn we can draw a line a straight line on top on the left another one on top on the right and a straight line right across the top connecting it and then we have another square for which we'll need to make some more eyes so we'll do another circle on the left and another circle in the top right and yet again we can get colouring in. Now we need to draw pupils but this time we're going to put them at the bottom of the eyes so the shape is looking at the square below and we're going to draw a smile but this time we're going to do the smile on the side. As this shape isn't too sure what's going on you can give your shape any sort of smile. Then we need to add another arm on the right hand side, so another curly line with an oval on top. Now you can make your tower of squares as tall as you want, so you could add one, two, three, four more squares on top. I'm just going to add one more to show you what we're going to do next. Now once you've finished your final square, we're going to add a different shape character to the top. So we'll need a different colour and a line going from the top left to about halfway and back down again because we're adding a triangle on the top. Now, not any old triangle, but a special triangle. So once again, they'll need two eyes like before and lots of colouring in. You can place two black circles in the middle of the white circles for her eyes. And this triangle has a very special red smile, along with some special black freckles. Now this triangle also loves a wave, so we need a line coming from the side with a little oval on top. She loves waving, especially when she's at the top of the tower. Now this isn't any old tower, this is a magic tower. And I'm going to need you to help me add that extra bit of magic. Now we need to draw a line from about halfway on the second square all the way down a diagonal line in line with the bottom square and then you can draw a straight line across. 
Now we can do exactly the same on the other side, but a mirror image. So a straight line all the way across and connect it at the same place on the second square. Now our tower has some wings. Now we need to make some dashed lines at the bottom of the bottom square. They can be split up how you want, but I normally do four or five dashed lines in total. To really make our tower fly, we need to add four semicircles along the bottom near your dashed lines. And what started as one square has now been transformed with his shape friends into a shape rocket. Hope you all enjoyed drawing with me today. I can't wait to see what other shape characters and objects you come up with. Keep having fun and please tag me with your creations and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye!